San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, welcome back. Yeah, great to be back. Thank you. All right. Now, after attending a stadium advisory group me meeting, Charger spokesman Mark Fabiani sent you a letter raising concerns of conflict of interest and suggesting that your appointed task force is not as independent as earlier stated. Why is Jason Rowe, your former election consultant and lobbyist, attending a stadium yeah. committee meeting? You know, I think a lot of people were scratching their head about the tone and the tenor of those remarks from Mr. Fabiani. I mean, San Diegans and Charger fans are all like we're saying, wait a second, shouldn't we be working together? Not surprised. This is a group that I put together, all volunteers. They're asking people to come to the table, not only from you know policy issues, political issues, because ultimately this will go before the voters, we hope, in a ballot measure. And so I want them to have the wide ranging group of all kinds of folks to come in and give them the input that we need to get a plan, but most importantly, financing and one that voters will ultimately approve. So was Jason Rowe, maybe his purpose there, was that about the possible election on this, a possible voter ballot yeah, on this? The group invited him in to do that, to say, hey, how can we make sure that we achieve success? Because this is all about success. They're gonna be inviting San Diego State in, You're coming up here. I want all stakeholders together to give us our best opportunity, the best plan, that voters can ultimately weigh in on and it works for taxpayers. Well, speaking about that, you, you wrote a rebuttal letter and in it you asked or suggested a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Charger owner Dean I did, Spano. Yeah. So what was the, what is the purpose of that meeting and will it be taking place? It's important that, you know, this is an important issue for San Diego. It's important that we're working together. I mean, you look at the success that we had as a city working together with the Padres, what Petco Park has met. We achieve success when we work together, not some of the sniping that we saw, unfortunately. And I'm gonna be very clear about, I'm interested in success, and I'm interested in letting the group do its job, give them a chance to get, come up with a great plan. I think they can do that. Uh, would you support, you, you mentioned this voter uh, going to yeah. before the ballot, would you support a, a tax to build a new stadium? Yeah, I don't know that that's necessary. I've said, look at all of the issues that have gone on in other stadiums across the country. Look at issues of land, look at issues of revenue that you get from marketing, naming rights, others. You know, what's the best plan, the best package that makes sense for San Diegans, and most importantly, that protects taxpayers? So I'm spending a lot of time on reform at City Hall, investing dollars back into our neighborhood. I won't support a plan that doesn't protect taxpayers, but I know that if we work together, we have the opportunity to really be successful. Well, a few minutes ago, we aired a KPBS investigative report on how city code enforcers are not doing anywhere near what the law provides to prosecute landlords who repeatedly violate health and safety codes. The disturbing results showed families sick from living in homes infested with roaches, mold, no hot water, and other illegal conditions. What are you going to do to address uh, this issue? Disturbing is right. And to see conditions like that, that should not exist in any part of San Diego. That's unacceptable. And not only is, I think, is an issue of court, code enforcement, making sure that they're out there and with enough code enforcement officers, but I think this story really strikes to the heart of what's the strategy and how we're going after particularly individuals that seem to have problem properties. It's not just one-offs. We need to target some of those individuals and send a very clear, compelling message. That type of living condition will never be tolerated in the city, and I'm looking forward to taking strong action on that. And will you be talking to the city attorney's office about that, because I understand it falls under their jurisdiction? We'll be talking with our city attorney's office, I'll be talking with code enforcement, make sure we have the resources that we need, but have them hear very clearly from myself as mayor, we're gonna go after conditions like that should never exist in any city in the country. Well, on a different note, earlier today, you toured uh, Southeast San Diego with business leaders to look for new yeah, development opportunities. Did you find any? And if so, yeah. uh, what kind of uh, properties are you looking at? You know, it was, it was a great morning. And I was out there with council member Myrtle Cole. We had over 80 people uh, on, on this bus and it was all about opportunity. I think you hit the nail on the head. We have a community that supports economic development. It's about creating good jobs. We looked at a lot of sites that have the opportunity for new affordable housing, retail shops. I'm a big believer that seeing is believing. And so you can't just talk about, here's some, some properties on a map. We've said, come to Southeast San Diego. Let's spend the morning looking at it. Uh, you know, it was a great, we, we hoped we might get 40 people. We had 80 people, you know, community leaders, business leaders, you know, financial institutions. Uh, I, I'm real excited about the opportunities. So next step? Next step is, we got some projects and land that are out there. We're putting out requests for qualifications. We told folks, come on in. This, you've got a city, you've got political leadership, and you've got a community that says, we want that economic development and uh, great partnership between myself and council member Myrtle Cole. All right, Mayor Kevin Faulkner, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to be here. Look thank forward you. to thank seeing you. you next month.